for 2021, the Browning Maxxis II Camo Vintage Tan is an update to the initial Maxxis that duck hunters are sure to love. A 12-gauge gas-operated autoloader, the Maxxis II promises reliability and comfort in a platform with understated good looks. A 1.5-inch thick inflex recoil pad at the butt of the gun keeps shoulder pain to a minimum even when shooting stout 3.5-inch Magnum goose loads. Browning didn't stop there, however. As experienced duck hunters will know, a significant amount of kick can travel out the stock to the shooter's cheek weld before it ever reaches the buttstock or shoulder. For this reason, the company has also included a soft flex cheek pad for maximized comfort to the shooter. The composite stock on which these pads are mounted can be trimmed up to three quarters of an inch or shimmed to adjust cast, drop, and length of pull for a wide variety of shooter sizes. The grip area has overmolded rubber for maximized grip in wet settings, as does the forend. The receiver and barrel have been Cerakoted with a camo vintage tan finish, which matches the stock and forend while giving the gun a more striking look. A chromed chamber and bore increased durability and corrosion resistance, while a nickel Teflon coating on the bolt, bolt slide, shell carrier, bolt release, and bolt handle keep things running smoothly. Outside, all controls have been oversized for easier manipulation, particularly with gloved hands. This means both the bolt release and handle have been enlarged, the trigger guard has been lengthened, and the front of it has even been ramped toward the loading port for more space to push in shot shells. A lightweight magazine tube keeps weight to a minimum while keeping the balance of the gun toward the shooter for an easier, more consistent swing. Finally, for sighting, a fiber optic front sight and ivory mid bead reside atop a barrel length vent rib. Sling swivel studs reside at the end of the screw on magazine cap and toward the bottom of the stock. Out on the practice field, the Maxxis II proved to be a clay's worst nightmare, covering the sky in accurate clouds of lead and steel just as fast as you could pull the trigger. Speaking of that trigger, Browning's lightning trigger boasts one of the fastest lock times for an autoloader, which becomes readily apparent when shooting. Cycling was smooth, with the power drive gas system eating any and all loads we threw down the tube, from light practice shot shells to bruising waterfowl magnums. For more information on this excellent waterfowler, which comes with three extended Invector Plus choke tubes, a full, a modified, and an improved cylinder, and retails for around $1,940, visit browning.com. And as usual, for more Sunday Gun Day any day of the week, check us out right here at AmericanHunter.org.